Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Edit With Me Monday show. Today I'm talking all about the graduated filter, some people call it the gradient filter in Lightroom, and some really really easy ways that you can do it to take photos that are kind of just meh, make them look epic. So let's get at it. Okay, let's get at it. <laughs> Alright, so if you've never used the graduated filter before, you are totally missing out. Luckily, you're watching this video. We're gonna fix that up for you right now. So in Lightroom, I have a white photo just to show you how this tool works. Go into the develop module to edit with it, and then you can find the graduated tool right here. It's this little rectangle. So I'm gonna click on him, and let's just bring the exposure down. All these settings you can change uh, on your filter, but I'm gonna just do exposure for now to show you how it works. So have it selected, click on a point in your photo and drag it down. So this is how the filter looks when you apply it to a photo. You have these two lines here and a line through the middle. The middle line is basically where that transition is happening and the two lines on the end is how much of a gradient you want. Do you want it to be a really smooth transition like this is or if you want it to be really drastic, you just shorten up that distance. See, we're making this like now it's just a straight up line right but a lot of the time you're gonna want a bit of a nicer smoother transition all right so let's bring up a real photo so we can try this baby out I have this photo here took it in Ottawa um, there's a lot wrong with this photo the sky is blown out the colors are kind of meh it's definitely kind of hazy so before I even get to the graduated filter I'm just gonna do a few basic edits I'm gonna bring the exposure down I'm gonna bring the highlights down and I'm gonna actually use this dehaze tool. I don't need a lot, but a little bit is gonna really help this photo. So before, after, that's just with a few of the basic edits. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna go in and use that graduated filter. So again, it's that little rectangle up here. Now, if you're looking at this photo, the main thing that is wrong is the sky is super blown out. If you shoot with a raw camera or a decent camera, usually you're gonna be able to save some of that data and maybe save a blown out sky. So I'm gonna double click effect to just reset all those settings and I'm gonna bring the exposure down and let's put a filter through the sky here to about there. All right, so I brought, you can see bringing the exposure brings that, helps it a bit. I'm gonna bring the highlights down, the whites down. And now what I'm gonna do is, you can see, I brought back some clouds, some things there, but the color of it is still kind of like, meh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the temperature to bring some blue into the sky. Now that might be a bit too much, but somewhere around there is kind of nice actually. So we'll just play around with these a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Sometimes too on the sky I bring down the clarity and the sharpness just to kind of give like a smooth sort of like painted look to the whole thing. Bring down that exposure a bit more and bring in those blues. So let's uh, turn that off before, after, before, after. Now you're gonna wanna kinda tweak this as you go. Maybe I did that a bit too much. There we go. Now the next thing I wanna fix is the bottom half of the photo. We could do a lot down in here to kind of bring some more life back into that. So we're gonna get another filter. We're gonna double click effect to kinda reset gonna do it through here. Now the main thing here is I would like these trees to be more green. So I'm gonna tint that quite a bit. Bring up the saturation, bring down the shadows because I actually want it to be darker down there. And bring up the highlights so that we get those little treetop bits showing. So maybe a little bit greener. So now we can see this part is looking all really good. We have really good greens here that then fade because of the filter into the trees back there. 
So I want it to have that kind of faded look so it really shows the distance quite nicely. The thing I don't want is now the water's looking green and I'm not a huge fan of that. So what we're gonna do is click show selected mask overlay and then over in the tool, the graduated tool, we're gonna go and click brush. Now I can actually go and edit where and what is being affected by this tool. So I'm gonna hit option and this means I can actually go ahead and erase. So I'm gonna erase all the changes that have been affecting the water. So why I'm doing this as opposed to just doing a brush on the trees is that I do want the graduated look. I want the green to fade out as it gets closer to that horizon line. So this is the easiest way to kind of do that. So I took out that. Now, if we go before, after, look at, we've done so much. This is two graduated filters. We have done a lot to save this photo. So let's go ahead and click done. That's looking really, really good. So before, after, before, after. Now in looking at this, I realized that I actually want this foreground part to look a bit sharper. So I am gonna bring up the sharpness and the clarity on those trees, make it that nice green again. That looks really nice. All right. Now I wanna, a lot of light is coming from this side. What I think would be really nice is if this side of the photo actually looked like it was a bit darker. So what I'm gonna do is pick another graduated filter double click effect to reset, bring down the exposure, and we'll just have this kind of coming in, maybe like, sort of like that. So you can go straight for the exposure. Sometimes I feel like that might be a bit too harsh. So I kind of bring down the highlights and I bring down the whites first, and then maybe just a little bit on the exposure maybe bring a little bit of blue into that side as the light's fading. That's what's kind of the, the light's going blue over there. I really like to play with light in that way. I think it's super fun. So yeah, so that part we're getting dark. Now on the other side, we can again play with light again and maybe just bring up the exposure and bring up the warmth even more coming from that side of the photo. So it's a bit warmer, all on those treetops. That looks really nice. Bring down the shadows and just the highlights come up. There we go. So if we go to the before, all right, kind of meh photo. After, there's still a lot that I would do to this photo with the other tools and everything like that to really perfect it. But like this is using four graduated filters and we have brought this photo to life. We fixed the sky, we brought a lot more depth overall. And that's what I love about using the graduated filter. You get a lot more depth than just using the adjustment brush because of how you're actually playing with the light and playing with all the changes. It gives it a really natural, really beautiful, almost like kind of looks like a painting. So go ahead, try it out. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Keep in mind, I post these videos on Lightroom every single Monday. My whole goal is just to make editing super, super simple because it can be, it doesn't have to be complicated. Anyway, see you next week. Peace. Don't you hate it when people do that? It's just so, so annoying.